Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really fun spray dyed socks. Um, I call them sporty socks. You can make them to match your uh, favorite sports team or a team you play for, um, or you can just make them because they're really great to wear when you do sports, such as roller skating or rollerblading or soccer or anything where you'd want a nice, tall, thick sock. So what I started with was white crew boy socks, or you could get men's socks, but you want to get the crew kind because they're longer. You need some spray fabric paint. You can make your own by mixing um, uh, acrylic paint, like the craft acrylic paint that comes in a bottle um, with water and a spray bottle. Or this set of six was eight bucks at Oriental Trading. Um, and it works really well and I'm happy with it because, you know, by the time you buy the spray bottles and the paint, I think you're, it's going to cost you more to make your own. So I like this Oriental Trading um, spray fabric paint. So for these, I did them in orange because that matches my daughter's softball team colors. Uh, but I'm going to do these kind of rainbowy. So the first thing you want to do is um, kind of twist them up and put some elastics around them. And um, the more you twist and the more elastics you put, the more white you're going to have in your design. Now, if you want to do these traditionally and tie dye them, you absolutely can. What I would do in that case was after you have them all t uh, tied up with your elastics, you want to dip them in a uh, solution of soda ash fixer, which usually comes in any tie-dye kit that you buy. And then I would use a screw the squeeze bottle method, which a lot of tie-dye kits come um, with squeeze bottles now. And, um, and I would do that rather than dipping them because the colors will be brighter. But you really want to do that soda ash if you're going to tie-dye, uh, use fabric dyes because that'll keep your dye from fading too badly. With these fabric paints, um, they really don't fade too bad, so you really can just not even, you don't even have to wash these beforehand. You can take them right out of the bag when you buy them, uh, dye them up, and then you're good to go. And also the colors won't run on you like in traditional dyes. All right, I'm going to do one more here on the toe. Maybe just fold that up a little bit. And then we'll be all set to spray. I'm not going to put elastics on both of them because I'll just do that after I'm done shooting the video. All right, so, and you can reuse these elastics after they dry because the color won't transfer because it's not like dye. It's acrylic paint, basically, and it will, um, once it's dry, it's permanent. So I think I want to do kind of a rainbow theme. So I'm shaking up my spray stuff, my spray paint. I haven't used this, this bottle since last summer, so I'm hoping it's good. I'm going to tip my box up. I have this in an old box, well, fairly new box, actually. I picked up at the grocery store. And um, we're going to do this to the other side, too. So don't worry if you're, um, <clears throat> if you're only getting one side sprayed, because that's how it's going to go. So I'm tipping this up, because when you use your bottles... Oops, I didn't open these up. They're still wrapped. Huh? When you use your bottles of... Um, of the spray, it works a lot better if you have them somewhat upright. You don't want to have them like horizontal or they're not going to spray very well. Well, gee, I should have taken these wrappers off before I began. Here we go. Look at that. And then I'm going to use the blue and then I'm going to use the yellow. Let me just take these off. Oh, and another tip that I'll tell you right now. Um, after you're all done, you're going to want to take the sprayers off, like unscrew the caps, take the sprayers right off and um, rinse them under cool water. Don't use hot because that will ruin your sprayers. And then... Um, you're going to want to spray clear water through them so that way they'll be ready for the next time and they won't be all clogged up on you. All right, so there we go. We're all set for that. So I think I'm going to do yellow next. I'm going to cross it so it blends a little bit. I don't even need to use orange because I've got so much yellow there. Now I'm going to be careful that I don't get my colors uh, too mixed up. Use some green here. be cool rainbow socks and go in with some blue I don't know if I'll have any room for purple we'll see this one is might not work too well this one got clogged up so I had to uh, take a sprayer from one of my paper mart bottles and put it on there um, it's doing all right but definitely the sprayers that come with the uh, the paint bottles are gonna work a lot better that's another reason I don't really recommend making your own when you can buy this set of six for eight bucks because um, chances are your sprayer's not going to be able to handle the thicker stuff. So that's one side. Now I'm very carefully going to flip this over. And um, I don't like to waste paint, so I'm actually going to try to soak some of that up. But I don't want them to get muddy and mix, so I'm just trying to keep them in the same spot. And then I'm going to spray this side. Now go generous with the um, with the spray because you're gonna it's going to be a lot whiter than, whiter than you think. You're, there's going to be a lot 
a lot of areas that aren't going to get covered more than you would imagine, more than would be with tie dye. So just keep that in mind and go on the air on the side of having too much paint. And try to get the edges too. A little bit of that blue. If I can get some more of that blue out of there, what do I do with the blue? Oh, I don't know where I put my blue. Here it is. The blue and the purple look so similar. Let's see if I can get some more of that out. Yeah, that's clogging pretty bad. So I'm just going to go over with the purple. All right, now I can go back in and see if anything else needs a little bit more color. Remember to clean out the nozzles when you're done so that they'll be ready the next time you go to do a project. And you could save the bottles if they're still in good shape after you've used up all the paint and you can um, you can use them for to make your own later because I think I think the bottles play a better you know more in this role that it's the bottles that are important more than the paint you got to get some that can handle the thicker spray stuff and don't freak out if you've got a little you know, of your colors mixing all right I'm just gonna try to soak up a little bit more of this your fingers are gonna get messy wear gloves if you have a problem with that I obviously don't have a problem with that. Now I'm going to just take out my elastics. You could let it dry, but um, I'm, I really want to show you what these are going to look like. And I want to see myself, actually, because I just did the, sim the simple one color ones before. The one color ones, you can actually just uh, mop up all your paint when you're done. You don't have to worry about it so much because you're just using one color. Um, Yes, this is some riveting YouTube footage, isn't it? You can go in, too. If you find that you have like a really white area that you don't like, you can go in and um, actually spray that area. Kind of just twist it with your hands and spray it. So that's kind of fun, too. So you don't, you know, this project isn't done until you think it's done, until you say it's done. Oh, I like this. I kind of like the look of this multicolor better than the plain one color here. Okay, so look at this. It's like instant tie-dye. Isn't that fun? Oh, well, I can't wait to do the other one and make a pair. Now, there, see how I have a lot of white on that side? What I'm going to do is actually, you know, I'm going to actually move my box out of the way because I've got plexiglass on my table, so I'm not worried about that too much. I just want to give it a few more sprays there. And just I'm just kind of crinkling it with my hands so I get that tie-dyed look still, but I can add a little more color. Okay, so there we go. There's not that fun? Tie-dye rainbow socks? I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.